So when it came to interviews, where do you think the majority of your interviews um, came from when their in invitations were coming in? Yes. So, okay. So I think, so I went through this whole journey, the 205, the 232. I thought I was in a good place to get interviews. I thought I was going to have no problem. So I, but that was not the case. I, the interview season started, everybody was getting at least one, two interviews. I didn't hear anything till about November, December. Mm -hmm. And everyone kept saying that, oh, the U.S. To med students get the interviews first then they go to the IMGs I was like okay but like we're running out of time um I had to basically get myself each interview and people are like well, you're not supposed to contact programs you don't have the luxury to not listen to that if you are coming from a Caribbean med school with poorer step one step two scores you don't have you, you cannot just sit and wait for the interviews to come to you you have to go get them so what does that mean so I had friends who were residents at programs, basically anybody I knew in the medical profession, whether it was a distant cousin to a friend I don't talk to anymore, I just messaged everybody, like sent an email to everybody, messaged everybody, including the program directors of programs I really wanted to interview at. And mm -hmm. you're not gonna hear back from a lot of people, but you will from some people. So whoever could help me in whatever regard, they did that. So I had a cousin who did residency in New York a long time ago. He was still friends with his surgery residency program coordinator. That program coordinator, after he reached out, was like, wait, I know the psych coordinator. So she reached out to the psych coordinator. Then And then next thing you know, I get an email from that program saying that, hey, you have an interview. Wow. So you, and some can be like, oh, well, that's just unprofessional I don't think it's unprofessional I think that you do not have the luxury to sit and wait so whatever you can do to get the interviews you do it um I had a retired family friend who was a physician like a long time ago I just met and reached out to him I was like do you know anybody at these 167 programs that I applied to you know um and you never know what works so every interview that I got I basically had to scramble and make those interviews happen mm -hmm. I got a total of five interviews out of which only one interview I got without finding some connection. So only one in interview came to me like just naturally through ERAS. Yeah. Everything else had to go through a couple of people to get to. And then out of those five, one program had already pre-matched people by the time I interviewed. So I only ranked four. Wow. So I was so I was very ready to soap and like not match, but then it worked out. So we didn't have to go that route.